let's be frank. Many mainstream media outlets overemphasize the importance of your SSD speed for gaming. And if we just look at gaming results that I personally think are most important for most people, which is uh, loading times, installation times and update times. Some try to be somewhat rational. Others play it completely on emotions which I personally disdain. Some outlets show you all these fancy bar charts with bandwidth figures. Others don't even bother with numbers and just list some positives and negatives of each drive with affiliated links, of course. Why do I think you don't need the latest and greatest NVMe PCIe Gen 5 or even a Gen 4 SSD for games? This has to do with the way modern games are designed and our own perception of waiting time. In every game, there are certain assets, such as game engine, which need to be transferred into the system RAM and other assets, such as textures, which need to be copied into the video RAM. In the good old days, all assets were fully loaded upon the launch of the game. Over time, this approach changed as PC hardware capacity did not grow linearly with complexity and graphical fidelity of games. The developers quickly realized they had to introduce different graphics presets as well as split their games in certain blocks, whether it is worlds, levels, stages, to decrease overall memory and other system requirements. This indirectly led to snappier startup of games. How long is too long then? I can speak for myself, there are specific flavors of waiting which I loathe and others which I don't mind as much. For example, I'm usually a bit more patient when starting the game than when loading from a save or proceeding between levels. Perception of time is subjective, therefore a minute of waiting at traffic lights can seem like eternity when I'm in a hurry, but the same minute can pass very quickly when I meanwhile stumble upon an interesting news article on my smartphone. That of course never happened to me while I was driving. It must have been these other people, you know. What I want to say is that unless you take a stopwatch and run benchmarks one after another like I did, we'll probably not be able to tell a few seconds of difference in loading times that take half a minute or so. This is not meant to be exhausting research conducted across a ton of drives of games. I have just handpicked a few games to see how much time one needs to waste waiting. As we could see, the startup times were almost identical across the board. The load times were sometimes shorter with faster drives, but it wasn't a night and day difference. Surprised about the results? I think it has to do with the fact textures and other assets not only needed to be copied from the storage drive into memory, but also decompressed. That means the performance bottleneck was not the drive but the CPU. In the future, Direct storage might reduce these decompression times to some extent, but the world hasn't seen too many implementations until the time of shooting this video. Does it therefore matter what storage drive one chooses for their computer at all? I hate to give you this kind of answer, but it depends on what you do with your PC. If all you do is play games, then it matters little, provided you don't run a mechanical hard drive. If, however, you use your rig for disk-heavy operations such as video editing, the speed of your drive matters a lot more. In any case, when buying an SSD, avoid those cheap QLC SSDs at all costs. Those with small capacity are the worst, because the less free space there is on the drive, the smaller the SLC cache and the write speed will eventually go downhill. No matter what the use case, I wouldn't go with the fastest drive available, but I would rather recommend choosing a drive with higher TBW rating, like I did in my previous video. I would gladly trade small performance degradation for a longer life expectancy. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.